Hey guys, what's up? For several videos now, I've been encouraging you to invest in the US stock market basically through two different channels. Number one is by investing directly through an online brokerage such as eToro. And number two is by investing through a professionally managed fund. Now recently, I also came up with a video wherein I shared how you can do this now via Gcash for as little as 1,000 pesos. Now that we have all these different channels available, now that we can go beyond the local stock market when investing, we have a big world of opportunities ahead of us. But as I reflected and thought about this, I thought that perhaps I wasn't sharing the entire picture. I would share with you my wins, but I didn't really share any of my losses. In my first video, I shared with you that I've gained over 50% returns in the four years that I've invested through BPI's US equity fund. But I failed to share with you the down days when the funds were actually negative. So yes, I realized that I didn't share how much I've actually lost in these funds. So that's what I'm looking to share now. Okay, so let me just pull out my data in the charts. So backtracking, I was able to find out that from the BPI website, my cost of acquisition per share was at $148 when I bought this at the end of 2017 and early 2018. You see in this graph that I actually bought pretty high. Now, less than one month later in February, the per share value went down to $138, which was a drop of 7% in one month. And by March, it went down to $136, which meant that my investments were down by 8%. The market trade lackluster. Um, it caught up a bit. By July, it was back at $148 per share, which meant that I was finally breaking even. And by September, the per share value was now at $154, which was 4% up. 4% after 8 months, nothing great, but at least I wasn't losing anymore, right? Nope. <laughs> by December 2018, the per share value of this PPI fund was at $128, which meant that it was down by 13%. And remember, the minimum investment was at $1,000. So at 13% down, I had lost $130 or roughly 6,500 pesos. For the first year, that wasn't very encouraging. By nearly mid-year of the next year, 2019, the per share value was at $146. So I was nearing my break-even point at least. And yeah, let's skip the other parts of 2019. It would hike up a little bit here and there. Um, so let's fast forward to 2020. And at February 2020 last year, the per share value was now at $180, which meant that I was up by 21%. So my $1,000 was now $1,200. So that's pretty good. That's me being up by $200 or 10,000 pesos. But don't forget, by March 2020, the pandemic will hit and cause global lockdowns. So by March 2020, my investment had gone down by another 10% because the per share value was now at $133. By more than two years in the market actually meant that I was down for quite a good amount. I mean, those are two years that you see your money and they're not gaining anything so it's a big bummer <laughs> pretty glum uh, scenario but the great thing was uh, that was a quick dip actually in the u.s markets by may and june the market had recovered it's been quite a wild ride since if you see the trajectory from march it just has been going up and up and up the s p 500 is at an all-time high the per share value is now at 222 dollars which means that i am up by 50 percent so my one thousand dollars is at approximately one thousand five hundred dollars roughly seventy five thousand pesos so that about tracks my last three years sharing this with you of course not to brag but i just wanted for you to see what kind of down days you might be going through when you're investing in such volatile financial instruments. Like I told you in my previous video, when you're investing in the US stock market, despite the losses, despite the dips, in my more than three years, there were three major dips. These dips shouldn't discourage you. Like the popular saying goes, time in the market beats timing the market. So if these are funds that you'd like to park and just get back someday, chances are it would appreciate of course, there are no guarantees, but if you are to go by historical data, 
Hopefully what I've shared here with you is encouraging enough for you to see that there are down days, but there are also up days, which is what we have right now currently. Are these good days going to last? The truth is probably not. I expect dips to happen. And if I want to exit and get my money right now, actually now would be a great time. But since I'm in this for the long run, and I think the market will continue to appreciate, should you wish to continue investing in US stocks, I'm just putting this out there for everyone to know the kind of losses that you may incur and you may have to stomach from time to time. Again, in the long run, you're probably going to come out with great returns from this investment. So maybe quickly, you might be wondering, why is the US stock market at an all-time high right now? Well, one of the popular viewpoints, they say that in the US, there was a lot of stimulus that was given out to everyone, regardless if they lost their job or not. So it was pretty much for every registered individual. A lot of these people actually put their money into stocks. They put their money in the market because they have money to spare. And I think this goes back to what I was saying previously. And I mean, no offense to to our current economic situation, but if we have the means to be able to invest in developed countries, circumstances, situations where there is a higher probability that the economy is getting better, is getting started more aggressively. If we have the means to be able to invest where we can see a quicker, a better return, then probably that's where we should place our money. All right, I hope this has been helpful. Please be wary of these figures. Please be wary of the ups and downs. Despite short-term losses, hopefully you find it in you to be able to weather the storm. You don't lose sight of the long-term perspective that you can be making great returns through such investments. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again and happy investing.